Hey friends and family, and if you're just joining the channel, welcome. This is Aaron with AMZ Backyard Orchard and Vineyard, and I'm just going to answer a question on do we collect our air conditioning runoff water, or what do we do with all that water during the monsoon season that's coming out of here and just making this whole area mushy and wet? That's a lot of water being wasted. Sometimes up to five gallons a day. Sometimes more. But what we did, I got creative. Because I'm that kind of a guy. Is I figured out this was just a half inch PVC pipe. Just like you use for your sprinklers. Add a little extender. Another little right angle. Hooked up this little guy. And then a little bit of pond pump tubing and then some extra tubing that I had laying around and you see what I'm doing wraps around and comes over here and we collect this is a 15 gallon bucket right here we got that bucket from one of our fruit trees that we got this big old pot and we're just storing this is a just a, a trash can liner waterproof then we're collecting all of our AC runoff water it's distilled water so there's really not much in it and we just use this water this thing gets filled up five gallons a day that's a lot of water what is that 25 gallons 30 30 what 35 gallons a week 35 gallons a week that's a lot of water that's over 100 gallons a month if you do the math man that's a lot of water up to plus or minus but I just wanted to show you what we got our little rig doing on here. We just got creative. And everything's just running. We just collect water. This is my daughter's little flower pot watering can. I don't use this. LOL. But I just wanted to show you that this water is pure, clean, distilled water. It's just condensation from the air conditioning unit at our house. This is where it runs off. And I wouldn't go any higher than this because you don't want this stuff getting backed up into your house. That would be a very bad thing. So just right here, about a foot above, a couple feet above, maybe 20 inches above. I don't know, plus or minus. And just drips right into there and just drains right into this thing. And the overflow just goes right into our vineyard, which we got going on on the side of our house. So... That's what we do. It works for us. Um, when we do use this water, we do supplement with a little bit of fertilizer in the water because this water is just distilled. It's just pure water. There's hardly any nutrient at all. In fact, I did a, a, a water test on it, on this air conditioning water, and it's neutral in pH, but there's just nothing in it. There's no nitrates. There's no nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium. There's nothing in this water. So. You can water your plants with it. You can water your plants with it, but I wouldn't do it too much. As long as they're properly fertilized and mulched, which our trees and vines seem to be fairly happy. You can hear the air conditioning's in the background. It's still hot. But we are starting a fall flush, and things are growing, and we're watering them. With our air conditioner water. <laughs> it's a lot of water. We could do we could water a lot of pots with this stuff. So that's what we do. If you learned something, give this video a nice like. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns on what all these little things are all about, leave them down in the comment section below. We do love hearing from all of our viewers. So from my family to yours, thanks for watching.